peace and blessings to all my kings and queens, my royals. I know um, I always say this. It's been a minute since I did a video. It's hard for me to really do a video every week because I'm like, I don't want to keep repeating myself and saying, you know, like the same thing over and over. But, you know, maybe sometimes some of you may just want to see my face. I don't know. But um, it's, it's been a couple weeks or so, maybe a month since you have seen my face. Well, let me just talk about um, what's going on. Yeah, um, as you can see, the dress, they're, they're nice and healthy and strong. <sighs> I love them. I treat them very well. Um, been having a busy schedule, but um, the uh, humidity in Chicago... Um, keeps me, you know, from having to put any type of, um, like a hover oil, or I might just put just like a little bit of coconut oil on my hair, but the humidity keeps my hair moisturized, you know, and I love it when it rains, because I, um, I'll go outside, and I'll let my hair be cleansed by the, by the rain, I don't know who else does that, oh, one of the things that, um, I like to do is to, uh, I have a couple of, queens that like to know what lipstick or lippy I'm wearing and I am wearing and I can't see without my glasses on but uh it's butter gloss it's NYX um if you know notice in my videos I love NYX NYX and this is in meringue it's a very pretty light pink and I think it goes with a lot of different complexions I love it. I love the texture. I love it. You know, the softness on my lips. It's definitely a butter feel. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips. I am also wearing, um, it's night time. So I'm, I have on, um, some anti-wrinkle cream and stuff around my eyes, around my whole face, actually. I had a birthday on the 20th of June. I am 45. Uh, last Saturday, if anybody checked out Google Plus, I, I hooked up with some friends that I've been cool with. Actually, I said over 20 years. It's really been like over 20, 25 years. And we talked for about 10 hours. And it was just a good time just to sit back and talk and release and, and um, be free with some real sisters, you know. All of us are natural. Um... If y'all saw the picture, you'll see. Yeah, all of us are natural. Um, one of my girls got a real serious, beautiful curl pattern. The other one, she just got a nice little afro. And um, then, of course, is me, you know, with with the dreads down past <laughs> past my chest, down to my down to my hips. Um, let me see any questions that people have asked me. Oh, are my dress heavy? Somebody has asked me uh, here. Um, my hair is heavy, period. Uh, it would matter if it was in dreads or if it was relaxed. Um, probably would be lightened just a little bit from relaxers. Um, it's much healthier being dread or being if it was natural. Um, I mean, just plain natural without even being dreads. Um, the more heat and stuff you put on your hair from being relaxed, and the relaxer itself, you know, thins your hair out, you know, a little bit, keeps to have it straight or whatever. Um, so it, it just, it just looks heavier, but it's, it's, it's the same density, basically, of it being, um, you know, just if I wouldn't have read. So, uh, I'm trying to think of some other questions that have been asked. Um, let me just say a little bit about myself so I mean so some of the, the newcomers to my channel would know what's to me um, 27 years 27 27 26 27 I get it twisted I've been doing hair since 1988 I stopped I got tired of it I didn't love it anymore so I discontinued doing it I didn't just like rashly discontinue doing it I started designing candles in 1999 um, and that's what I've been doing ever since. The only hair that I do is mine and my, my goddess, Isis. Um, I design candles. I actually have a studio that I go to and I design. And um, I love doing nails. I'm a polish a holic. 
I do literally own over 3,000 bottles of polish. I am a polish fiend. If anybody sent me a bottle of polish, I just would freak out. I buy polish like people buy food um, daily. <laughs> um, I'm into tattoos. Um, just recently, I, 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 I'm into getting... I've had tattoos, but now recently I've been really getting into getting tattoos, you know, that really have, like, serious meaning. Um, I don't know if some have seen or if you can see, but I have an ankh on my wrist, which means eternal life. But I have my daughter's name on here, Isis. Um... Her name is Abike as well. Um, her middle name is Abike. And then for my birthday, on my birthday, I actually went and got the eye of Horus. And of course, that's for protection and royalty. Um, I'm looking to do a whole uh, arm full of um, Egyptian um, tattoos, ancient Egyptian tattoos. Get some, probably some pyramids and stuff. But uh, everything with meaning. Um, for some reason, they don't hurt when I get them. Um, I guess, you know, just to let you know a little bit more about me. Um, I've been through a lot, you know, of pain. So, there's really not much um, that can really hurt me besides the loss of, like, friends and, and family. I have a problem with... I have a problem with letting go you know what I'm saying that that's one of the things that I'm working on in turning 45 I'm learning I'm I'm promising myself that I'm letting go and the strange thing is um God tested me with what I said he challenged me because on my right before my birthday one of my friends um passed away he was not just my friend he was my um fiance when I was in high school and um we were very very good friends who grew up together and actually his funeral was on my birthday and I did not go I went to the visitation on the Friday before and talked to him and for an hour and a half and with friends and everything but I did not want my birthday to be I did not want that to be something that I remembered for every birthday I did not want to see his face on my birthday I enjoyed seeing him when I did and I enjoyed my birthday tremendously me and my girls the next week we cooked and everything we bonded we sat back and we just talked you know we had smoothies real you know energy stuff um, part of being well, I, this is something I always like talking about part of being a dread for me is being um, being in tune with your body um, trying to find out what it is that's going on with your body so that you can fix it navigate it move around you know after you get a certain age you know a certain things changes and stuff that go on with your body and stuff and my thing is really trying to work with my body I want to feel that youthfulness that I had before I want to be free mind body and soul you know um I used to be a yogi. Um, I stopped. There's a lot of things I stopped when my daughter was born. My my, my little goddess, um, Isis, she's eight now. And I kind of just like quit doing me, you know. But in order for me to do her, I really have to do me because she has to see me doing great, you know. However you're feeling or whatever you're going through or whatever you put in your body, comes out through your skin and comes out through your dreads you know so I hear people saying oh my my dreads are thin 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 you know I have posted many pictures of when I first started when my hair was all platinum blonde almost uh, I did not start off as a um, with, with my hair like this I started off with tiny tiny dreads like a lot of people I twisted because I couldn't with the blonde hair it just wouldn't dread um, but as I got more in tune with who I am, 
you know, because I stopped doing, I wasn't doing hair at the time. When I got more in tune with who I am and was not afraid, definitely, truly, 1,000% was not afraid of anybody else's perception of who I am. I didn't need to be complimented on my hair. I didn't need to be wrapped to, I didn't need, you know, any of that. And, you know, um, I didn't need to look like anybody else. I made the decision to make my dreads. Um, I had, I say, I, menage a trois <laughs> when I put three together. Uh, and, and that's what I started doing. And that's how it got like this. I want to show you all. I really get a chance. I mean, you all see how gray I am. I have like Elvira straight, but I really show you all the whole, my, the back of my hair. <laughs> so I want to turn around and try to show you as much as I can. My dog is in the bed with me. Hold up. So I'm not sure how much you can see. But it goes past my behind. You can see that. Okay, and those that have been following me for a long, long time, yes, <laughs> I still drink my water, honey, yes, very important, you could pour a whole bucket of water over your head, but what would, what would really moisturize your, your skin and your nails and your hair is letting it flow through your body because your body is made up mostly of water so that's more important than sitting back asking what kind of product should I put in my hair what should I do should, what, what should I do to my hair no what should you do to your body you know what should you put in your body stop going to fast food restaurants start start cooking at home Start putting natural stuff into your body and not processed foods and stuff. And your, your dreads, trust me, will talk to you and, and tell you how much they love you when you um, show them love. Um, I like twisting my hair up in, in the back. Feels good. Makes it feel lighter. Um, but that's it. I haven't made a video in a while. And I just want to thank all my kings, queens. Uh, God, I have uh, so many people. Uh, T, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. E I N N E, Vanessa Reed. Uh, Tony, um, King Tony. There's so many people. God, I just love you all so much. I mean, if it wasn't for you all. I really don't socialize with a lot of people, but I get so much love here. Yeah, I, ch I kind of like, before my birthday, I, I did a whole, if y'all see there's a difference as far as where I'm filming it, I did a whole little change around in my room. Um, I got another light in here too, um, but I wanted to get rid of all the clutter before I turned 45, and it feels so much better. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. I wasn't really talking about much. I just wanted to reach out and let you all know how I feel um, at 45 and hopefully inspire someone to be free to be a dread or be natural or just be yourself, period, and not worry about what anybody else thinks. So, I will end this with peace and blessings, my kings and queens. Much love, light, and inspiration always. I'm Queen of BK, you know.